dear friends this is an interesting course on environmental economics after the huge response which i received for the course learn how to calculate carbon footprint and an associated course on carbon taxes i was requested by many of the my udemy students to launch a course on environmental economics so this is an introductory course on environmental economics and it would really be a fun that i promise what is to be expected from this course as i said it is an introductory course and we would be doing a detailed course much later in this course what we would be expecting is we would be dealing with some very interesting concepts which are used in environmental economics then after studying those concepts studying those terms which are used in environmental economics we would then apply those concepts to some real life applications real life issues like say air pollution water pollution and so on we would also discuss in brief what are the limitations of environmental economics or in what cases what real life cases the solutions which are given by the environmental economics school are not valid i mean we would be discussing the limitations of environmental economics so this would really be an interesting course what is the scope of environmental economics uh, you know the name itself tells that it is a branch of economics and economics or political economy is the mainstream economics of market economy wherein we deal with lot many issues lot many issues however the environmental economics is dealing with only the environmental issues so it's a branch of economics where we are going to use the same principles of economics but for the environmental goals for the environmental policies and what are they so if you look at uh, some of the studies some of the papers some of the research papers some of the study reports on environmental economics you would find that the issues like air pollution are dealt with issues like water pollution are dealt with you deal with the very hot issue of climate change issues of eco ecological damages and its quantification at the coastal regions the marine life you deal with the hazardous waste you deal with the land use issues the change in land use issues and you use you deal with energy conservation and renewable energy resources so there are a lot many issues which can be studied under environmental economics so think of any environmental issue and we can apply the basic concepts of environmental economics to those how do you study this and what are the frontiers in this environmental economics so for that i just want you to understand this typical energy economic study for example if you do a survey of the environmental economics research report for example if you go to the website of the environmental protection agency of the united states of america you would find lot many studies there so this is a typical energy economic study for example which studies the problem of air pollution from the environmental economics objective now what are the what were the objectives of that study which i am citing here okay this is just to get you an idea of what energy economics uh, environmental economics is so for example this study which i am citing here it talks about the cost of health because of air emissions so the air pollution would impact would have an adverse impact on the human health so how do you quantify those and how are once you quantify those health cost how significant are those health cost with respect to the other damages which the air emissions would cause so quantification of the health cost because of the environmental bad that is air pollution is studied we do uh, economic evaluation of the health impacts because of the air pollution so maybe there are some 
uh, health issues like there is asthma or there could be a severe lung disease okay so those would cost something so we need to do an economic evaluation of that because of air pollution and then we would look into the health impacts and priorities for air pollution control a case study of one city in india for example mumbai was taken and then we need to integrate the health and environmental policy so this is one typical energy uh, typical environmental economic study so you will see that this environmental economic study which i have cited okay from uh, the report of epa environmental protection agency okay of united states of america this is in a way this is in a way trying to quantify the damages because of environmental issues okay and in terms of money terms okay in money terms so this is a important aspect of environmental economics which would be studying in detail so air pollution the cost of air pollution the cost of controlling the air pollution the economic impacts water pollution the cost of controlling the water pollution the modeling of water pollution the impact the economic damages benefits cost okay the economic damages of climate change the economic damages because of hazardous waste the benefit cost ratio because of that so everything everywhere you would understand that we are trying to apply the principle of economics quantifying it in terms of money okay so this you would understand it better in the next few lectures what is to be understood is <clears throat> uh the basic argument of environmental economics is that uh the environmental amenities or environmental goods they have got some economic value okay and we can we can quantify that economic value I means suppose there is some air pollution we can assign some cost to it we can assign some money to it okay so it has got some economic value this is an assumption in all this environmental economic school of thought okay uh, it is obviously challenged by some other schools of thought but that would be discussing later okay and as you know that economics is about allocation of scarce resources within the market economy framework so the environmental economics would also be about the allocation of environmental goods within the market economy framework so we are not talking about the state led economy we are not talking about uh, <clears throat> economy where there is no market so market means a place where you can buy the environmental goods or sell the environmental goods okay so this is an important aspect of environmental economics which you would be dealing with in our series of lectures which we are uh, having okay uh, what i would suggest is how do you map as a student okay you would be interested in uh, understanding and mastering the concepts of environmental economics so my prescription is that we would understand the basic terms and tools okay and uh, related to environmental economics then i would suggest that using those basic terms and tools you read as many reports as possible which are published by regulatory bodies uh, like uh, say bodies which is uh, which is a famous body united nations uh, nations framework of climate change unfcc or the other body which i cited like environmental protection agency of united states of america so there are lot many literature lot many reports which if you read it by after going through this basic course you would master this concept of environmental economics and i would be dealing with some research interesting research studies also and we would be applying the concepts then after studying these reports to our own case studies okay so this is what is the correct way of understanding the environmental economics so i promise you that this introductory course of environmental economics would clarify lot many concepts which uh you would be interested in thank you very much